Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and this is my friend. Oh, uh, you're right, GB1, they are here. We should probably do this right. What up, <laughs> slappers? And welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be building a base, and not just any base, the Metal Earth Electric Base. It looks pretty awesome, I know. Actually, GB1, I don't think DB504 could possibly slap this base. You have to have a pretty big peepee -pee to be able to complete it and play it. Well, I just don't think that he has the skills, GB1. Here, I'll do you one better. Hey, DB504, I challenge you to build this base and slap it. There, GB1, happy now? <laughs> Good. Everyone else, welcome to the video. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at everything you need to know for the Metal Earth Electric Bass Guitar. Like what tools you'll need, how tricky are the tricky bits, and how do you form all those weird shapes that you need to with metal? Those are some good questions, Groove Builders, and we're going to answer all of them. Let's get started on the workbench. Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Metal Earth Electric Bass Guitar. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we have some instructions on how to build our model, followed by some information on what the electric guitar is. Then, just below that, we have a QR code which we can scan to get a 360 look at our model, and at the bottom here, we have a difficulty rating of just over easy. This should be pretty straightforward. Finally, on the left-hand side here, we get a look at some other models that Metal Earth offers. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions, and we have our one sheet of metal. And look at this bass guitar. That looks really neat. Let's take a closer look at our instructions. Alrighty, we have just one page of instructions and 13 parts. It may not look like a whole lot, but these parts can be a little bit deceiving. The first thing we should look at is our cylinders with parts 2 and 3. The second thing we'll look at is shaping parts 4, 5, 6, and 9. And lastly, we'll take a look at these strings. But before we jump into the build, we need to know the basics for all those new builders out there. And Davey 504. First things first, these metal models require us to cut out our pieces, then shape them using whatever we can. Once we have our parts correctly shaped, we can connect them together by bending or twisting our tabs. The way we bend or twist our tabs is indicated in the instructions by these circles and triangles. Personally, I try to follow the instructions the first time when it comes to bending our tabs if I can. Then when the build is complete, I'll go over everything again and change anything that might stand out. I like to make my tabs as invisible as possible. That's how you get that museum quality you hear so much about. Now, there are a lot of tools out there to help us build these models, and some of these things can be found around your home. But which ones are the best to build the base? Well, that's a good question. Let's ask our resident tool expert, Timothy. Hello, slappers. Music and bass are the poison that humans release on the ears of superior beings. To build this primitive vibration device, you will need tweezers, nippers, mandrills, and pliers. <laughs> I wouldn't be saying too much there, Timothy. I've heard Dalek gangster rap. It's no better than Valerian poetry. Now, these are just our recommendations, and you really don't need anything but tweezers and nippers to get the job done. But of course, having the right tools will make everything a lot easier for you. Okay, we've looked at our instructions, and we have all of our tools. There's only one thing left to do. I am so sad. Why? Because 420% of you haven't pressed like or subscribe yet. Mind blowing. Don't be a simp. Slap <laughs> like and subscribe now, or forever have a small pee-pee. All right, thank you very much. Uh, now let's get back to the bass. The Metal Earth Electric Bass Guitar is a model that requires some patience and time to be done correctly. But with a few tips, you'll be slapping this bass in no time. The first thing I want to talk about is getting a good cylinder shape on parts 2 and 3. Both these parts require the metal band to be made into a circle. Doing so by hand is a little hard, so I recommend using a tool like a mandrel or toothpick to get a good shape. When pushing the parts into the tool, it's important to make sure that we bend every piece of our metal. If you miss any of the metal, you'll know it because you'll have a teardrop shape. 
When you're happy with what you have, it's time to move on to the next piece, but don't forget not to cap it. You want to use that cap to help you insert those pieces into the guitar. It makes it way easier than trying to manipulate the piece once that cap is already in its place. Once all of our tabs are inserted into their insertion holes, all we need is a quick twist and we're ready to move on. The second thing we need to look into is how to get good shapings on parts 4, 5, 6, and 9. These parts make up the edges of our base and by far are the trickiest bits of this entire build. The first thing you need to know is that all of these pieces need to be placed in a certain way on our model or they won't fit. If we look at part 4 for instance, you can see that one end is long and the other one short. Make sure to double check the orientation of these pieces before installing and beginning to shape them. Nothing sucks more than having to go back and straighten everything out and reshape it later if you make a mistake here. When it comes to shaping these pieces, I recommend using the edges of part 1 to help you get a good shape while securing the tabs as you go. Now don't make one big single bend. The trick here is to do a lot of small bends to get the right shape. Just make sure not to scratch the metal as we move our tweezers around. For me, part 9 was one of the hardest because of all the small bits of detail on the end. You may have to slightly bend part 9 to get it fully in. Just don't forget to bend it back. Lastly, let's talk about the strings of this bass guitar with part 10. Overall, this piece in itself is kind of easy to shape and install. Just bend the top and bottom tabs down, then bring it over to the guitar to connect them together. The hard part though is not squishing the strings or misshaping them as we put other bits of detail onto the guitar. To avoid accidentally warping or bending our strings, I recommend holding the model as loosely as you can in your hand while securing the tabs one by one. To make it a little easier, try connecting one side of the guitar, working your way up and down the other side. I found even though I was super careful, I still managed to somehow push my strings in. It wasn't a big deal, all I did was put my tweezers underneath the strings and push up. Voila! A really awesome looking bass. And under one hour too. Alrighty, and there we go. We have our Metal Earth electric bass guitar. And I gotta say, this build, although pretty simple with its minimal amount of parts, was pretty tricky in some areas. I can't believe that I accidentally reversed the bottom pieces down here and had to go back and re-bend everything. Luckily, the metal was actually pretty forgiving and I don't have any tool marks or anything, so it actually turned out really nicely. You do have to be careful of those strings, like I said before, when attaching the back piece of the guitar and the front together, just because you can squish them and make them look all kind of out of sorts. Now, can I recommend this kit to new builders out there? Absolutely! This is a great introductory model into Metal Earth, just because everything in it is actually pretty simple to do, even though the edging can be a little bit tricky. Anyone that takes a little bit of patience with this model should be able to complete it. And once it's done, you really do have something nice to show off, especially if you're one of those music geeks out there. All right, crew builders, that brings to the end of our show. I had a really good time building our bass guitar with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Want to help the channel grow? Check out GrooveBuilders.ca. We got all kinds of really cool models on there with great prices and fast shipping. Now, I'm going to put this bass down right here, and I think it's time we try something new. I want to try some therapy time. How was your week? Well, that's good. I see. GB1 had a problem similar to this. too sure if Davey504 is actually going to respond to this video. I have a very small channel with a very, uh, how you say, specialized niche with what we do here. So, I mean, here's my thing. 
I'm not really big on becoming, you know, anything. This is just all about fun. I, I started this whole thing three years ago just for fun. And uh, as I've grown and kind of started doing things, you know, some really cool stuff has happened around me. And one thing that I've learned is that if you're enjoying something, you got to do it. Uh, otherwise, you're just kind of spinning tires, right? Hmm. I really enjoyed our conversation here today. Maybe we should do this more often. I do hate to end it there, but we have to get going. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. Now, let's go slap some bass. Ba -ba -ba